This week, I'm going to lead you through a short practice to reset or revive the spine and hips after work or whenever you've had to sit or stand up for a long time. So we're going to gently stretch and move, especially the lower back, the hips area. Let's get started. For this week's practice, you could have a couple of optional props next to your mat. So I have two blocks here and I'll show you how you might use them. If you don't want to be on your hands, you could use them under your elbows. And then we have a visiting prop, a chair. So if you have a chair that you could bring next to your mat or maybe the edge of a bed or edge of a couch, you could use those as well. You could use that for the final resting pose, but it's very optional. You can also lie down on the floor. You don't need to have a chair, but if you have one, just bring it next to your mat. And then we are going to start from all fours. So make your way onto hands and knees or like I said, you could use those blocks under elbows. If you don't want to now come onto your hands, maybe there's some pain in the wrists, you could use some blocks under elbows and that might be a very nice way to do our cat cows in the beginning. Knees roughly under the hips. Where do you feel stable? Either stay on your knees, your both knees now, or you might extend your right leg behind you and that might bring a bit of a stretch into your ankle, your calf, your foot. And from here, we're gonna go into cat cows. With an exhalation, round your spine. You can bring your chin towards the chest. Maybe that right knee bends a bit. As you inhale, open the chest, a cow pose. Again, as you exhale, round your spine. See if you could tuck the tailbone under slightly. And then inhale, opening the chest. And remember, you could bring that right knee onto the mat if you want. Two more rounds with an exhalation, rounding the spine, tucking the tail under. And then with an in-breath, opening the chest, really letting the whole spine move from your neck down to the tail. Let's do one more round. Exhale, rounding the back. And with an in-breath, opening the chest. And then we're going to come to the center. And at this point, you might lift up onto your hands Potentially still blocks there. I'm going to put the blocks aside as we go into thread the needle pose. You choose. And here again, you could have your both knees down or you could now extend the right leg out to the side. So to the right side of the mat if you want. That might give a bit more stretch on the right inner thigh. And as you inhale, now reach your left arm up. Opening chest to the left and then exhale, slide your left arm under the right arm and lean the left shoulder, lean your head onto the mat. We are twisting to the right and you might either press the right hand gently down, that might help with a twist, or you might lengthen the right arm over the head if that feels nice. Take a couple of breaths in and out, really allowing that upper spine to twist. So getting movement around the ribs, along the upper part of our spine, upper back. And then if you have that right arm higher up, step the right hand down and with an in-breath, lift yourself back onto hands and knees. And from here, we're going to bring that right leg behind us and then open the left hip either into a pigeon. So keeping that left leg extended behind you. You could use a block under the left hip, left buttock. Or if the pigeon doesn't really suit your hips, your back right now, then you'd be very welcome to bend that back leg knee so you find yourself more in a deer pose. And that might give you more room to 
adjust the front leg as well. We're going to take a slightly bigger breath in and then exhale, lean slightly further forward, looking for a bit of a stretch in that front leg. So maybe buttock, maybe thigh, or you might round your back even further forward. Maybe you come down onto elbows. Maybe you even lean your head, your chest down. And feel free to lean a bit more to left or right if you find better sensations around your hips, around your lower back here. Because it could be a nice release in the lower back area too. Maybe you feel this more in the back leg, in that right leg. Just make sure there's no pain in the knee joints, there's no pain in the hip joints. Take another breath or two in and out. Just slow, calm breaths. And then after those couple of breaths, we start to find our back up. So stepping hands onto the mat. And from this pigeon or deer, we're going to step into downward dog. So step your both feet back. And for a moment, walk from one foot to the other, letting your calves get a bit of a stretch, backs of the thighs get a bit of a stretch, just allowing you to extend your both legs. If you've been sitting a lot, it might be quite nice to straighten the legs, get a bit of a stretch on the back side. And let the heavy head drop down, you can soften the neck. At any point, you could come down onto hands and knees or elbows and knees if that's better. Let's take a couple more breaths. Soften the tops of the shoulders. And then slowly, slowly bring yourself down onto hands and knees. And we're going to go on to the other side. So we're going to do all these movements to the other side. And again, you have an option to use blocks under your elbows for those cat cows if you want. Or you might stay on your hands. So you choose where do you want to take the second round of the cat cows. On this side, you could now extend your left leg behind you. And then we're going to exhale round the spine, like the cat rounding its back. And then with an in-breath, open the chest. You might even look forward, so let your neck move as well. Same again with the exhalation, rounding the spine. If there are areas of the spine that don't really move, see if you could drive movement to those places. I think for Many people, it might be the upper back. If that's you, then try to send some movement to that space between your shoulder blades. Or maybe in your spine, it's further down in the lower back. Then maybe focus on moving your tail. Try to tilt the pelvis. That might help your lower back to move. Let's do one more round. Exhale, rounding the spine. And inhale, opening the chest. Good, and then bring your spine back to center, what feels like neutral to you. And then we're going to come back onto all fours, or you have the option of extending your left leg to the left side of the mat. So we're going to go into that thread the needle. Remember, you have the option of Staying on your knees or having your left leg extended to the left side. And if you need to, you can put your blocks aside. We're going to now inhale, turn to the right side of the mat, opening the chest, reaching the right arm up. And then exhale, slide that right arm under the left arm. So you could lean the right shoulder, you could lean the head down to the mat. And you can either keep gently pressing down through that left hand 
or you might release the left arm completely. You might even extend that left arm over the head. What feels good in your back? And see if you can breathe towards the ribs. Again, trying to send some twisting motion, especially to the mid and upper back. You can let your hips, your pelvis twist as well. Don't feel that you need to keep the hips squared. Take another breath in and out. And then step the left hand back on the mat and bring yourself onto all fours. And we're going to extend the left leg now behind us so that we could come into the pigeon pose or the deer pose. So again, you have an option to extend the left leg behind you. You could use a block under the right hip, under the right buttock, the thigh, or you might bend your left knee behind you. Wherever the legs are, take another breath in, and then exhale, start to lean a bit further forward. Maybe coming down onto elbows, maybe bringing the head down, even chest down. And you can make different choices on the second side. Again, you might lean either the pelvis or the upper body a bit more to left or right if you want. Try to soften the shoulders, try to soften the back of the neck. You could also lean head onto your hands if that releases the neck more. And send another breath or two all the way down to the hips, all the way down to the lower belly, lower back. Then in your own time, bring yourself back onto your hands and we step into another downward dog. So once more, opening the backs of the legs, getting to strays and the knees. Maybe there's a bit of movement again. You can also move from one hand to the other. Kind of taking the whole, whole dog pose for a little walk. Another breath or two in and out. If you have blocks there on the mat, you could pop the blocks aside. And then from downward dog, either go into plank and onto your belly or bring your knees down and then down onto your belly. We're going to lift into a cobra form here. So slowly as you inhale, start to open your chest away from the mat. Now looking for a back bend. You don't need to go all the way up into extending the arms. You could stay lower down. You could also here come onto your elbows. Maybe a block or two under the elbows if you want. That might be quite nice. But finding a back bend. You could keep your legs gently active. Not squeezing the buttocks, but just a bit of support in the lower body. And send your chest forward. So kind of actively trying to open that heart, that chest space. And releasing tops of the shoulders away from the chest. Not away from the chest, but away from the ears. Getting all mixed up. And let's breathe in and out once more. Big breath in and out. And then slowly release your chest down. Come up onto hands and knees. And then we're going to turn into a seat. Bring both legs in front of us. And you choose now if you want your legs to be extended or if you'd like to open legs into a butterfly pose. 
We'll do one more full forward bend before our final resting pose. So wherever your legs are, take a slightly deeper breath in. And then exhale, start to lean forward, leaning forward from the pelvis, rounding the spine, finding your forward bend. If you feel that it's very challenging now to lean forward, bring a block or a book under the pelvis so you're sitting on the edge of the block and from there lean forward. Often that helps the pelvis a bit to tilt forward or try adjusting the shape in the legs. If having legs in front of you don't work for you today, maybe the butterfly would be better for your hips, your back today. But just finding your forward bend. And send a few breaths to the back side of your body. There's a lot and a lot of space at the back of the lungs for us to breathe into. Let yourself find that space. Take one more breath in and out. And then slowly start to roll the back up. Open the chest. And then we're going to make our way into our final resting pose. And you could make this pose a longer one today if you want. And I'll show you a variation with a chair. So this might be quite a nice way to rest your legs, get them a bit higher up. It's also very restful for your lower back, your hip flexors. So you would come lie down and then bring the edge of the chair under your knees so that your hips, your knees are roughly in a 90 degree angle. If you need to adjust, feel free to spend some time finding the right place for your legs on the chair. But this can be really quite releasing for the lower back. If lying flat on the floor is, is not comfortable for your lower back, then having the legs on the chair might be a completely different pose. But it also allows your hip flexors to rest and it allows you to get your feet, your legs above the heart, a bit higher up. Hands could be on your body. You could feel the breath in your hands, in the belly, in the ribs. But if that tenses your shoulders, if that tenses your back, then rest your hands, your arms, maybe next to your sides or open them a bit wider apart. And then notice the breath. Send a few breaths down to the lower back. Send a few breaths down to the lower belly. And keep your ribs soft. So although we are breathing down towards the belly, the ribs, the chest, they are free to move. Maybe a couple of times exaggerate that movement in the ribs as you're breathing in and out. And 
Now I'm going to leave you here in this resting pose. You can make this as long as you wish. Or you might slowly find your way out of the pose. So you choose. If you have time, I suggest spending a bit more time in that resting pose. I'm going to slowly end this practice. I thank you very much for joining in. I do hope that you enjoyed the practice. And if you did, as always, before you go, please give the video a thumbs up and also leave your comments below. I really, really love to hear how you guys feel after each practice. Thank you so much for joining in and I wish you a wonderful day after this. See you on the next video. Bye.